Alright everybody, welcome back on a Hex and 100% Secrets at this level. Hey Shark Seminary, it's a very difficult level, just like um, Shadowwood. I think Shadowwood and Hysteric Seminary, probably the hardest ones in terms of confusing. Like, there's just so many switch back and forth thing. Uh, the Seven Portals can be, but to me, I just find it so easy now that I don't get lost. Uh, but it's like a back forth thing and it's very frustrating. Stay in the back unless you want to get Worship hit by the me, Chaos Serpents. And I may yet be merciful. Chaos Serpents attack, uh, again, stay in the middle. Maybe not. Up and forward. So what we're going to do, we're going to lure in the enemies to us. Like so. We're going to have the elevator go down and then have the elevator go up. As soon as you see them getting close, we're going to be using the flasks against them. Oh man, I thought there was going to be another one. Uh, one is more than enough to kill one, but if there's like a bunch of groups, you want to use a stack of two. Stay in the back, you won't get hit, like in the back in the middle, just stay over here like in the back, but there's going to be some enemies attacking you, see? Alright, the monster in fighting, nice, nice. Oh, look at the slaughterhouse fighting back. Nice. Ah, oh, fudge. There, he's kind of smarter in this game than uh, Doom. If you hit the uh, enemies on Doom, they'll still want to fight the other demon that hit him. And this one, they'll retarget back at you if you hit them. That's how the I don't know. Some people don't even pay attention to small things like that. Okay, we, I think we can kill them with the with the staff. With the fire, you can't. I tried it. It's almost impossible. We're gonna avoid some of those enemies for now. Just get them out first, then I'll come back in. Nothing, just enemies, great. There's usually some random stuff spawning there, like magic. Yeah, as soon as you kill all the acolytes, I think that's what they're called. I could be wrong. And the room is gonna shake, and then uh, there's gonna be that uh, lighting. guy here oh, there's a lot of these still left Oh, the shaky, that means I kill all of the acolytes or the mages or whatever they're called. 
I never memorized your names. These are called the edits I've known. Let's tr let's bring them over here towards us. Just do so much damage. some fireballs sh being shot I think the best thing is just to strafe over here Time now. Oop. Right. These guys can get a little bit annoying sometimes. Did I got rid of them? I hear that I'm being shot at, but I think I got all of them. Kill them with this without using any of the magic. If you get hit, just use the flask. You're gonna try and confirm uh, magic as much as we can in this level. Uh, only a few pieces of magic. Come on, man. You get like kind of get like in like in the f in the front. This thing will get lowered. I think the best way to actually avoid them is probably going towards a statue and just going into the wall. Sometimes you get something good out of it. I've been having jack shit, so I'm just gonna be spawning of enemies over and over. Several things here. But we're not gonna go towards any of the entrances first. Let's clear up the beginning. Let me just get rid of these edits. They do wander a lot. Okay, we're gonna come back. Gonna finish what we started. Be careful here. We're gonna get rid of that later. Let's get rid of the other one from the other side. The less there is, the better. They can have less shooting at you everywhere. <laughs> Alright, cool, cool, cool. This guy, those guys hit like freaking hammers, dude. There's two options that we can approach this. We can snipe them from there, which is gonna be a little bit tough. Or we can actually get close, which is a little risky as well, and use the percolantons, but they only get rid of like a certain amount. So far I only have three, so that's only gonna get rid of uh, so many. 
Fire, you can actually hit them through here as you can see. Works a little bit better. Ah, this guy's not. Okay, now let's do it for the other side. Shit. Oh man. Well, I have to take some damage here. much easier to get rid of these guys with the mage. Believe it or not, the axe is actually pretty good at range as well. Just the flame hands, they're like the shotgun of Hexen. They don't have much range, unfortunately. Yep, 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 yep. We'll see if we can fall under that tree. Yeah, we took less damage because of that. Watch this. Oh yeah. You can attack those mushrooms. Man, I'm such a badass. <laughs> you can use that tactic. And now those guys can actually attack them like the Chaos Serpents. Or any range unit if they attack that area they, they can actually just uh take advantage of you. I mean if you wanna take this route which is probably the best route what I did getting rid of the chaos serpents from over here then yeah or if you want to get up and up in personal i think the best thing is to use a porco lantern and make sure you got your dragon bracers and make sure you get some health as well uh, it's very risky these guys if there are three fireballs coming at you your health from 100 can go to like zero and like in just a matter of two seconds i'm not i'm not kidding if you want to take that risk go for it Ah, one of these guys spawned. They're not letting me get any everything. I mean, it's really not that worth getting these things over here. But they're gonna come in handy later on. So now we have two options, either go through here, go towards the other place that I tell you. We're just going to go through here because the uh, secret, well actually it's actually mandatory, but I call it a secret because it's hard to see. And well, this part's going to be very difficult. We're going to be doing the same thing as the other, we're going to be luring the enemies towards us. one or two and then take cover oh they're fighting nice let's let's lure everyone everyone then I say everybody's dead down there when then we can actually But this guy's not coming up serpents first they're easy to take care of you can slaughter houses dude they're annoying to to deal with they have the shield you got some cat serpents hitting in the back forget it oh there's still a few because there's like what two or three of them
guys are freaking bonkers. Ridiculous. Alright, that's gonna activate this old door's opening. Yeah, there's a total of two of them. Kind of blurry, I don't know why. What the hell? Maybe it's the FOB. A lot of the times, uh, the HUD is the one that causes the blurriness. Option search. You can do HUD. Full screen HUD, there it is. So you can't even find these options. But that didn't change anything. Option search. These things are not working, dude. And this was at 50. Option search. This was at 2. You know what, I don't want to mess around and waste this, it's just like the blurriness. I can fix with this, it's usually the FOB. I don't understand why it's not coming out on the HUD. Whatever, let's just go, man. Usually the 64 one is not that bad. For the FOB, they do take care of that. Yeah, there's gonna be the ultimate weapon spawning here. a lot of the magic unfortunately some of the enemies are going to be spawning here though so be careful yeah it's right here be a few secrets that I forgot to put in a timestamp as a fighter. And there's a shortcut now as you can see. Oh man. Wasn't there like an opening here? I guess not yet. I need to click on one of the switches then. It's gonna be over, over there, I'm confusing it. <laughs> I think the secret click on that, this thing gets lowered. Be 
hold that as a secret. We're gonna use the ultimate weapon. My god, let me uh, load, auto load. Shit, did I really? Last time I auto loaded here. Well, it's not a big deal. Not too far off to where I was gonna go. My god, man. That's what happens when you're not, you don't have the weapon ready. And I did click the, because this game has it backwards, arrow keys to go forward, which is the right way, but some Doom games have it backwards, which is back, it's like forward, I don't know why they have it like that. <laughs> I understand why some people don't even bother playing this especially people who have a very high reputation of, of doing 100% secrets they don't want to die <laughs> this game was gonna I don't care how good you are in first-person shooters you're bound to die by some bullshit shenanigans it's just that difficult this game is Start auto saving often here. I guess that was a mistake that I did. <laughs> Waiting for this to open. Come on, anytime now. Wait, what? It got stuck? Sometimes bullshit like that can happen. I don't understand how that guy wasn't even here, so I could have killed him. Figure. That switch is gonna open up for one of the portals that we're gonna use later. accident almost I guess it's best not to click on that switch yet. Now we 
can actually click on this. I should actually level this as a secret. Alright, just get ready and get your ultimate weapon. This is probably like one of the very few situations we're gonna need it. That's why they give you the castle, the number ability, but I don't want to use it. I feel like... See? I rid of these guys really quick. It's insane. As soon as you come here, there's gonna be the opening, of course. That switch that's gonna open lower the elevator. And of course, I showed you a method on how I actually go. To, uh, this thing gets lowered by the other way around. Hmm. Hmm. I don't have none of them yet. Um. Yeah. Let's finish this over here. Do we click the switch? This thing is gonna get lowered. Dead bodies sometimes give you health. Well, this one you can't destroy. Uh, you're gonna be using the openings over here. Oh, that was a splash damage because I didn't even hit him. Let's get the cave one out of the way. We'll save that one. I, I try not to get combined mana if I need only green mana. I wait until the I also need blue mana. So. Man, these guys are so annoying. Then since I kind of missed the fighter, the mage does a really good job at clearing these guys up as well with the lightning. Just the cleric is the one that's uh, that um, struggles with them, and they're actually one of the most annoying enemies in the game. Why forward is the wheel is opposite for most of the freaking games. just never die they're the reason why you don't have mana they're the usually the reason why you don't have mana oh, I shoot at that mushroom you gotta be kidding me oh, I hit it I hit it Let's see if this thing's gonna... 
Oh, this mushroom doesn't get affected. Okay, they're not like the other ones. That's cool. Let me use the ultimate gun uh, here. This is part to cleanse these guys. I'll probably use another one over here. And I still didn't get that many. What the hell? Mushroom, nice. Nice lantern, I'm like, what the heck is hitting them? this part this thing is gonna come in handy just in case if they're gonna actually be on your way you push them away from you away from you make sure to auto save don't do the mistake I did a while ago You need to click on that. Oh, ho, ho, yes. I scratched some of them. That should be the last one. Alright, we're good to go. Ah, the opening here. Didn't I? Didn't I click? Oh, now we have to go through over here. My bad, my bad. My bad. Wait. I did get the switch. Let me remember here. Trying to remember how to activate those switches. I think we get activated through over here, but I could be wrong. I'm trying to remember, I don't have a vivid memory of that. Out of here. Getting ambushed over my dead body. Oh, they're fighting each other because you can actually attack them uh, with this thing at each other and they can do monster fighting. But technically, they're fighting each other now. Nice. This is beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, there's gonna be some swamp creatures there, shit. One of 
the gems. We still need another one from over here. You don't have... You don't get it like this, but you know what? Fuck it. That's how I get mine. This thing gets lowered, as you can see. I think as soon as you get uh, on top and get one of the green gemstones, this thing should get lower. Alright, that's it. Two, two gemstones out of the way. Uh, very frustrating part. I think the upcoming areas are probably going to be more frustrating. That I guarantee you. That's one out of the way. We'll click on them at the same time. Um, yeah, let's go over here. This switch will just uh, call on the elevator. Yeah, there's a lot of secrets in this area. Like two or three of them. This is where most of the bulk of the secrets is at in this teleporter. It reminds me a lot like Doom 2. Some of the Doom 2 levels. Switch will open that. We're not gonna go there yet. Click on the switch, kind of hidden. the slaughterhouse I remember him being here unless he came from the teleporter which I wouldn't I wouldn't doubt it all right this will be the last switch here let's go over here first to come over here first it's, it's furthest away from the teleporter that we have to come back yeah there's a bunch of these guys here. you want to use your ultimate weapon I should have one of the secrets over here sort of well hidden so it's banishment spies that means if you don't like an enemy you can always just banish it that's actually good if you if you're full of uh, enemies in front of you like say for example the I don't think there's any secrets here the chaos serpents if they're like in front of you and like in big numbers like you see here and then having a hard time just banish them usually true more like whenever you open a door and they're like spawning in front of you then that's more or less recommended to use it. usually the banishing devices are not are not gonna be used as much about two of these and each of these bullets, but about 
Can I open this? That's why it's very important to use the flask as the hotkey for the right mouse. So that when you're attacking and you get overwhelmed by these guys, you just have to click right click and you already use it. That's why I almost never die. Not because I'm like insanely good at this game, but because my hotkeys are actually kind of smart. Like by default, it's enter. Like how are you gonna move enter? It's very, it's very difficult. I mean, it's doable. Don't get me wrong, but very, very difficult. And this is like the shortcut, I guess. I don't know if I should label that as a secret. I don't know if I should. I think that's about it. Let's get the other gem from the other side. We're done here. It was a meat grinder. <clears throat> you know what? Screw this. I'm not gonna deal with this crap. So that should open that over there and give us a percolator. It open up a door over here. Game stone, but I already have it. Gives you magic, I guess. If I miss out on the cathedral, which is kind of hidden, I can get it on there. Now we're gonna go towards over here, I guess. Wait, there's a switch here. I remember when I was playing, I was going crazy trying to find it. Um, let me see. I know there's a switch here. Click on that. That should open this. Give us a gemstone. I think we're all good to go. With this flashing lights, I don't know, I guess some kind of blind, it was right, right there. Now we can leave. Yeah, it's close toward the teleporter, as you can see. We should have everything now, all the gemstones, I think. Unless I'm missing only one and I forgot to get it, I doubt it. <laughs> See what we get here. Only green magic, really? Come on, stingy fucks. You guys can do better than that. Alright, let's get this out of the way. Oh, I'm missing one. <laughs> what the hell? I'm missing one. Alright, that's a big problem. I 
I did get everything from the swamp, I believe. Now I think I'm missing one of the swamp. Now that I think about it, there's three. Damn it, really? I should, I, I should put these as a stamp for sure, these gemstones. Okay, that was one, two. Not one, two. Unless there's something up here that I forgot to get. Oh, I got everything. Just forgot to actually kill those enemies. Which for 100% kills, that's actually a must for you, but uh, I'm trying to remember. So, okay, so I got that done. Then it should be this one. Then it should be a total of four then over here. I got three. Oh, I know which one it is. The one that you have to jump. Yeah, it's in this one. Oh, where is it? I'll show you in the map. Should be in the bottom right. Yeah, I remember now which one it is. Mm. Okay, it's gonna be over there, I believe. Yeah. It's right there. Yep, it's right here. How come I didn't get close here? Ah, oh, it's because I went straight over here. Alright, there you go, folks. There's two on the swamp, and there's four in this uh, area. Alright, the best thing to do is run and then jump. You just gotta time it. And, uh, or if you get stuck there, just use the teleporter, I guess. I don't give you much. I only have one. So, use it very wisely. And, um, yep. Can't believe I forgot that one. Oh shit, come on.
Alright, that should open up the dragon, wolf, and eagle, I think. towards the other side. Don't mind if I get the boots of speed, even though I don't kind of use them. Ah, uh, uh, really? At least they give us a flask this time. Yeah, if you're not fast enough, you won't get the reward. These freaking slaughterhouses, man, they're annoying. They don't let you get anything. Alright, so there's gonna be a total of two, four, six, wait. Nine switches. I believe there's three on each. So there's gonna be three on the wolf, three on the dragon, and three on the griffin. So we're gonna take this order, wolf, dragon, griffin, and then again we're gonna take wolf, dragon, griffin. Well, I don't know if it's like that or coming back like that. I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. Let me just save it. Ah, uh, these guys are so annoying with the cleric. You know what? I'm not gonna waste my time with this. It's best. It's best to use this. Screw it. I just use it over here as well. I'm not gonna put up with slaughterhouses anymore, man. These guys are annoying as hell. You can't open, we well, can't go through there, so I think there's a switch you have to click over here. That opened up the main entrance, I think, over here. I'm gonna use the ultimate weapon again here. Keep forgetting auto save. Auto save. like one of the hardest rooms in this level it's so tight this corridor there's just so many chaos serpents there's a good chance you can die here if you're not careful don't forget don't forget this door just like i was forgetting the door over there and the last one for the gem i keep forgetting this door right here the entrance.
We should come back here later. And let's see. I think after we're done here, we should come back later, of course. Yeah, we should come back. Now we're done with the wolf. We'll go with the dragon next. Dragon right there in the middle. Quick save. This one has very, very tough, a tough room as well. Get ready here for the ultimate. Let me lure all the enemies a little bit closer. I'm gonna throw this at them. at least the slaughterhouse in each of the statue towers uh, this guy's not dying I right, ran out of magic here I think there's a switch over here please mother trucker all right I think I did kill him Come on. Alright, if I get stuck, I can always just teleport myself. Something is stuck. I think. Probably that damn, damn Eden that get it stuck here. getting it stuck I did click on it oh my god 
Right in the beginning. Oh god, I hate this level so much. Well, I thought I'd auto save. back of course we open the switches and you know, I'm not gonna go to the swamp area I'm gonna clean up everything first before I actually decide to go down there There and elevator there. No. Damn it. do the same thing over here. Which is out of the way. I'm making good progress now. Forgot to click on that one as well. Um, let's see here. Take a minute to come back. Let's see if I can actually go through the swamp this time. Let's hope I don't get stuck. You have to click click if you will open the damn door. Oh, you have to hit on it. I remember now. Could I not forget? Yeah, I probably put that like on a timestamp so people won't get stuck there as well. Now we gotta go over to the Griffin.
not easy to hit from here. I'm gonna let them out of the prison, if you will. Now oh, they're much easier to take down. That switch will activate this secret. Probably one of the most cryptic secrets in the game. What the hell? There should be some more things here. Unless I'm the cleric to give you less shit. Which I think that might be the case. Oh my god. I already. Seriously? I think by jumping. <laughs> yep, yep, you gotta risk it and be not scared. Freaking cryptic, dude. What if there's people that don't wanna jump? coming part dude it's very very difficult this part <laughs> I kid you not Biatch, come on. Nah, these efforts are not gonna let me do jack shit. I have to kill all of them. Uh, load up. There might be a switch. Freaking my man. 
Alright, there's gonna be four switches here. I'm gonna get rid of the, the first two on the left side out of the way. That should be the first one. Now it's gonna be that one over there. switches actually help us actually navigate this area much easier wait am I missing one no. instead of going straight back we're gonna take this exit portal yeah, if, you, if you didn't take those switches it's gonna be a lot harder to actually come back I don't know if it's actually worth it to be honest you saw that I had to go through the bullshit you can die, so it's... Uh, I don't know. Up to you if you like more completed. Now we have to go back to the wolf. Uh, let's see here. I should open several areas that we didn't go. Let's focus on this one over here. secret here which I mean I don't know if I should be able to the secret it's kind of given but it's in this corner right here I kind of defender this one doesn't go up this doesn't go up and this doesn't go up just this one right here so I should label it on a secret because I mean some people probably might miss it I don't know Ah, oh, my back is hurting already. God damn it. That's why I can't do long place. Come on, let's do this. I have to finish this part. Did I get everything? Uh, I think I did. This 
special forces of Hexen assembling. Just like that, I killed them. So fun killing these guys. I wish I could say the same thing for all the enemies though, like the slaughterhouses and centaurs, they're annoying to get rid of. I hate them. I hate them as enemies. I despise them. Every boomer shooter has a enemy that you just can't stand. I think for the original Doom, I think. Without the super shotgun, <sighs> maybe the pinky demons. Wait, no, no, no. Pinky demons are not. Oh man, which one is it for the original one? And yeah, we'll just go with the lost souls, I guess. And then the second one is the arc piles. Doom three had the uh, had the very annoying cherubs, man. They prounce in like a mile. Like they can be a mile away and they still prounce it. Doom 2016 had a the, the demon that did a uh, that was basically like the like the art file of the game summoner I think it's called yeah I think it's called summoner I uh, got rid of everything real quick. That's the beauty of the cleric. He doesn't have to deal with bullshit if he doesn't want to, but he needs to have the right mana, of course. Dragon Bracers. Hey. You're still alive? Where? Great of might. You're gonna come in handy later. I'm trying to save as much as I can. Because for the cleric, you're gonna need them a lot. Probably in the last two levels. You're gonna need them a lot. So try not waste them as much as you can. I think I already wasted one by, by being dumb. So I should have had three instead of two, but it, it's fine. As long as you're saving them and not using them as much, you should be good. I don't know why you wasted one. I don't know what I was smoking when I used it. Let's see here, am I done with all the damn switches? You know what, we can check the teleporter back. I think there's one wait yeah let's go back towards the beginning yeah I got all of them three three so all of them just need the dragon so now we have to do the wolf we'll go the dragon so we did wolf dragon griffin wolf dragon and then finish again with the dragon yeah so my pattern was actually flawless now that we couldn't go into specific area, that should open up several things. Like right here, we couldn't even go to before. That should open up. The last case should be over here, I believe. Open this, and then 
be like, wow, what did I know you could open it? I you know. This game is very cryptic. Uh, let's go back. Ah, uh, this thing won't open. I have to, I have to fall. The Cradle of Might spawns after you actually stay here in the second. Like, if you come back in the second time and you actually activated a lot of the switches, it should spawn. I don't know if there's like a specific timer. I think there is. Or a switch that opens it up. But it usually spawns at the very end when you're about to finish the level. And that's it. That should be the last one. I'm not gonna leave here yet because I have unfinished business. There's some guys over there. on this switch this thing will open up damn so much blue magic I'm trying to remember that I think that's about it like I said this path is actually option no shit yeah the, like the keys over there on the right on the left side that's it 86 out of 86 monsters killed. Yeah. I... Now we can go back towards the beginning, and then we're gonna go with. Uh... <sighs> I don't know if you want to use another ability here. Right here, I have four of them. Two of them should actually do its trick. Let's save it here. Ah, oh, shit! No, I wasted one already. <laughs> Fuck it, I think when this guy doesn't have a uh... Try embracers. When he has the the thing that uh, defends himself with, he reflects a lot of the shots. Yeah, right down. And when he shoots, it's better to use the damn uh, fireball on him. big deal but uh I think there's some in there oh uh, even the fireballs came over here It's not bad enough already. Oh, come on. Okay, we need. We can go. We can 
pull up this way. Better. <clears throat> I think that's about it. Oh well, let's just go. Start spawning those guys, you know he's already gonna die. That's actually the, <laughs> the trick to kill him. I forgot. Get close on the variability and just spawn a shit ton of flasks. That's the easiest way to kill him. I forgot. How could I forgot? Yeah, just use one and make sure you have at least uh, like at least ten or more. That should stack up a lot of the damage and then. Uh, I don't know why I forgot to actually do that, but I forgot. So I'm gonna put that on tips and tricks. So I'll put a timestamp for that. Let me just check if uh, there's any magic here. Oh, it's teleporters. <laughs> That's fine. Wings of Wrath should already appear, again. but they gave it to you only just for kind of late though. Like, I don't know why they didn't give it to you when the game started. using this one in multiplayer. <clears throat> yeah, there's a few things that uh, you can actually come back with this one. Uh, let's see here, I'm trying to remember. Oh yeah, it's a secret. I'm actually gonna... I'm actually gonna cut it. Do the secret and the separate timestamp. Alright. I'll see you guys. Let me just do my first save. Got one of the hardest levels out of the way. Thank God. Very, very difficult. Hair Circus Seminary. The secret level is easy compared towards the first one that we did. Very easy, but if you're not careful, you can die. But uh, 
getting the wings of wrath makes it a lot a lot and i mean a lot easier so i'm gonna cut the stream and then i'll see you guys in the next one